Welcome back to this clown's garage. As you can hear, the heat door actuator went on this car. It's a 2006 to 2013 Chevy Impala. This is actually a 2007, but they're all pretty much the same. That noise is coming from this actuator in here. Now, if you put your hand on it, you could feel it ticking. I also have a video on how to change the blend door actuator, which is back there. Uh, now this, to pull this down, you just pull down the glove box, then push on it so these tabs could clear. There's a little tab, th this thing up here. So once you push on it and pull down, this will come right down. Now over here, this has two bolts. They're 730 seconds or 5.5 millimeter, which is the same thing. There's one on top and one in the corner right there. Let me see if we can get you the other one, where that one is. And the bottom one is right there. Right in that corner. Now, you can see the part number on there. I use that top part number. The 520, sorry, 52409974. And I put that in rockauto.com. And it calls for reference this doorman number. 604-108 so that's what I'm gonna put in to replace it now if you go to the dealer they'll probably charge you three to five hundred bucks to replace that and this only costs 27 to 30 bucks to buy it online or you go to your uh, auto parts dealer they'll have the same price probably so the first thing to do is right there you see that clip you pull that up and you pull this out. Now if this thing starts ticking and what you could do is you could just pop this clip out, that connector, the harness connector, until you buy a new one. So that's what I did because it was annoying the hell out of me. Now, get here. Go underneath there with the little flat screwdriver and pull this up. It'll come off just like that. Now you can take those bolts off, the two bolts off. First I'll take the bottom one out. And now the top one. Now just pop it out. Grab the whole thing, give it a little jiggle, and it pops right out. Alright, so this is the old one I took out. You see where this is pointing? It's pointing this way in relation to how it's sitting in the body over here. Now, what I did was the new one, I connected it to the harness, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it point in the same exact direction. Alright, so middle, it stops, go up, it turns, middle stop, down, turns the other way. Just like that. So just do it up and down, and to get it exactly where you want it. You just gotta play around, fill with it a little bit. One last thing I want to say here is, you saw the two screws that go here. There's also a plastic dowel that goes in here, that aligns everything. Now sometimes you can get this to go pop in over there, but the dowel doesn't go in here and you're gonna have to go in and return it so everything aligns and the plastic dowel pops in here too. So I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, put this in. All right, now you gotta get this a slot in there. So you might have to turn it a little bit. Let me go ahead and do that now. Just like that. 
Now I gotta align the bolts and I think it's already aligned. Let me put one in. the bottom one and now to drive him down all the way home baby and now the bottom one That one's good. And last but not least, the almighty clip. Of course, you're doing all of this blind, so you gotta feel your way around and pop it in. All right, that's it. Now you can go ahead and close this and turn the car on. And noise is gone. Gotta love it. Now, the actuator next to it on the left, if you noticed it, that's the mode valve actuator. Just in case you guys are wondering. So, that's how you change the heat door actuator in this car. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, you know you want to. Also, there's a bunch of things you could do to me down there. You could like me, share me, do whatever the hell you want to me. There's plenty of clowns to go around. Thanks for watching, toodles.